Hello, Mr. Beanie Hat. How are you? <laughs> this is my this is my leisure my leisure style. My leisure style. Yeah. I just want to talk to you about right now and from your perspective, how you uh, how you're adapting to all of this. Well, it's uh, I've never lived through anything like this in my lifetime. None of none of us have. I mean, people have been through world wars. Um, and that must have been even more traumatic because you don't know when you're going to, you know, get bombed. But it's, um, you know, the thing about the world wars, it brought everyone together. And I'm hoping this will do the same. Um, whatever political party you're on, whatever, you know, uh, you just have to listen to what people tell you. And that's what I'm doing. We're in the house here and the boys are here. There's David, me, Zachary and Elijah. And we're hunkering down and we're just um, everything so far so good. Every day at 530, we play... Um, Snakes and Ladders, which in America is called Shoots and Ladders. And it's become a family routine now, and it's fantastic. To be honest with you, it's great to be able to spend this much time with my boys, because normally I don't, even though they've been on the road with us since um, November in Australia and New Zealand, it's, um, this is 24-7 with them, and it's fantastic. I mean, I'm saying that after a week. Check on me in about three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make the mess of it, and, uh, and my musicians. The thing I feel terrible about, from my point of view, um, this thing's been stuff. Are the uh, the musicians that play for a living and, and and need to earn money for a living to buy food and pay the rent, and also the auxiliary things around them, like the road crew, the lighting, the sound, the venues, the people who work at the venues. That's the saddest thing. So many people are now losing their jobs, and uh, they can't afford to leave their jobs. They live from hand to mouth. I'm very lucky. I mean, I'm sitting here, and I'm I'm very lucky to be in the position that I am. Um, and we all have to remember this time that people who aren't in the same position as, as, as ourselves um, are really going to have find a lot of hardship. So we have to be very supportive of all of them. And I'm afraid we've been caught with our trousers down. Um, yeah. Which is, yeah. You know, that, that, that could have been the title of my book. <laughs> <laughs> there's, so many different there's so many different titles. How is David? Is he good? He's great. He's sitting opposite me now. He's having his coffee. And, uh, you know, spending time as a family, is something that is just, it's, it's enchanting for me. And as I say, the boys are really, at the moment, they're being great. You're always very, very good at reaching out and making sure people are okay. I mean, I've, I've been on the receiving end of that and it means the world when you do. Um, and are you sort of, are you checking in with a lot of people? I can imagine you've got quite a list of people that you're making sure are okay because you're such an empath. You're such a, you're such a sharing person. Well, basically our friends, um, our friends in England, our friends in different parts of the country, different parts of the world. Um, you phone, you email and you just say, I hope you're okay because they're the people that need, you know, that you love the most. Um, with artists, um, I, we're in contact with two or three of them, and they they seem to be doing okay. It's great that young artists are coming out and saying, "Do what you're told," because young people have been. When I saw all the people on spring break and then Bondi, I just when I saw the picture on Bondi Beach two days ago. You couldn't move. It's like, what are you doing? When you're young, you don't think like everybody else. And I, I get it. I get it. I totally get it. And you think you're invincible. Of course you do. That's what I used to be like when I was young. I'm, I'm invincible. Nothing's going to happen to me. Um, this is a different situation than, than anything that's happened before. So you have to be very careful. Stick with your family. Enjoy. This is the time when people are going to spend more time with their families than they've ever done before. And, and so far, um, again, check with me in two weeks. I'm enjoying it so much because... I, I don't spend that much time with my family um, during the day. And I'm loving every second of it. So cherish it while you can. Every cloud has a silver lining. Maybe this will bring people together and, um, and be far more thoughtful about each other um, in a world where we're so selfish, um, me included. Um, and, and it gives us time to reflect on what actually, what life's all about. And life all is about love and sharing and generosity of spirit and um, coming together as one, I hope will be the result of this. It was so nice to speak with you. You've made my entire week. I really, really have. Thank you so much for taking the time, my friend. Well, thank you. I love you dearly. I love you too. Bye.